Hi guys, I'm Net Michelle. So today I'm going to be doing a styling video showing you how I style shackets and oversized shirts and just different ways that may give you ideas on how to style it too. So just stay tuned. Happy New Year, everyone. This is my first video of 2022. I hope you all enjoyed your new year and I hope that you accomplished all your goals that you have planned this year. So the first piece, this is a shacket. I got this shacket. So this is the first shacket that I'm going to talk about. I got this shacket from Ross. I believe it was for only like $14.99, which is a really good deal for a shacket because we get it from most places now. They're about $50, $60. So when I saw this at Ross, I had to get it. But yeah, so it's this brown. It's like this. It's definitely giving like the neutral colors. And I picked it up in the fall. This is my go-to <laughs> traveling shacket. So um, if I go on a road trip or catch a flight, um, this is usually what I wear. So different ways that this can be styled. So I'm gonna pop it up here. Um, me style a video, how I usually just style is like my little go-to outfit. So it's just this um, brown shirt, jeans, and some rain boots. Um, they're like the Chloe Dukes. So I'll link that down below as well if you're interested in those. So they're the Chloe Betty Dukes. Um, I got them first to see if I actually wanted to get the Chloe boots, but huh, I think I'm going to pass on it. The Duke verse just as good. So yeah, but other ways that this can be styled up, it can be styled up with, you can wear it with a dress, comeback boots. I have some brown, um, dark brown comeback boots as well. And I probably style that up with a dress and throw this on. So this is just so convenient and I just love that it's neutral color so you can wear it pretty much um, with almost about anything like in, you know, in the brown family. So yeah, this is really, really cute and I love it. And it's really warm too. This is like the big shacking material. I know um, a lot of times we kind of call oversized shirts shaggy, but really a shaggy is a mixture between a jacket and a and a shirt so it's a thicker material but yeah so i love this and just be sure to check out ross and the next one i got from ross as well let me show you that okay so this is the next one it's so gorgeous this is like my favorite but yeah i got this from ross as well for about 14.99 and yes when i saw this I just had to get it. I love that I could just wear all black with this. <laughs> My go-to wearing this is a black top, black jeans, boots. That's like my staple for the winter. That's, that's my little go-to fit. But I'm going to show different ways that you can style this up as well. You can wear it with um, a t-shirt, jeans boots you can wear with loafers there's just so many different ways that you can style this up and be comfortable and warm and cozy and yes it just it gives a look i just love it could just take any outfit up even even this dress it could just take any outfit up a notch let me show you even you know this now would definitely take off the bed but it's such a look for this black dress you have to get this color style the next items i want to show their oversized shirts they're buttoned down they're really cute and if you don't have a shacket in your wardrobe you could definitely use an oversized button down and turn it into that shacket look what i have is this gray shirt so a good place to get these type of shirts are thrifting them if you have like thrift stores in your area just be sure to check that out because these items actually i thrifted them from my mama closet and they're so cute and she wasn't wearing them anyway these probably yeah these are literally from the 90s <laughs> but yeah these are old child but they're really great quality and cute but yeah so 
this gray one. The perfect way to style gray is easily with black, but I love gray with pink as well. So I can see myself wearing this like with a like a peach or a pink dress and throwing it on over it just to give it a different look. So I'll just be showing you different ways that I'll be popping it up on the screen as well, different ways that I actually style this jacket. So yeah. I just love gray because um, I didn't. I don't have any gray jackets or any gray button downs in my wardrobe until now. But yes, this is definitely a great addition to have in your wardrobe. It's a neutral as well. You can wear it with so many different things. So I definitely recommend getting a gray oversized button down shirt. Okay, this next oversized shirt it's a burgundy shirt it's really cute on uh, the quality is really great and i just love that it's just it's different it has like the polyester shirt i just love like you know it kind of gives this satin look on the collar and the sleeve but for this you can wear this more casual so i would probably just throw this on with like a shirt and some jeans and you know just the extra layer and piece but i love that you know it has the shoulder pads as well and you know you can definitely like thrift items like this for a fraction of the price that we're getting from fast fashion nowadays so yeah this is really cute and the next two items they're the same I got one in this brown and black color and the other one is in burgundy. Yeah, it's like a burgundy black color. But yeah, this is just a you this is just a unique piece. Like if you have a unique piece similar to this in your wardrobe, it's like a, a cute color blocking piece. Like there's not gonna be many people wearing something like this. So it would definitely stand out and you can easily dress this up or down. You can easily have that signature black fit under this because of the colors or you can dress it up. There's just so many different ways you can style this as well. And this is the burgundy and black. Super cute. But yeah, this would probably be my go-to to wear like with a dress and some combat boots to make it a little edgy but still cute. Thinking about doing a style series, still different ways on how to style pieces that are already in your closet. So I put myself on a no buy because I'm saving to accomplish a goal. And I don't plan on buying many clothes this year. Um, I plan on just utilizing the clothes I already have in my closet and styling them different ways. So I put myself on a no buy, um, either to my vacation, <laughs> if I go on a vacation that I have, that I'm considering, or um my birthday which is in september because i have plenty of clothes i bought so many clothes 2020 2021 and yeah i don't need any clothes and i thrifted a lot of clothes from my own closet so i definitely don't need any so definitely want to get more into styling videos and just being more creative with pieces that i already have in my wardrobe so in this style series i plan on showing fast fashion thrifted and luxury pieces and showing how i style them up and just giving different ideas on how to put outfits together so if you're looking forward to seeing um videos like that be sure to you know subscribe and stay connected and if you have any ideas on what type of videos i should do leave that below as well and thank you for watching bye